It's a lot easier to feel confident and secure in yourself when you're wearing a mask. But when you connect with your truth, sharing that with people and the world feels pretty scary for me anyways. from hello well today I just kind of wanted to share some personal stuff that I've been going through in hopes that it will uh, resonate or touch somebody else out there maybe experiencing some similar things so since I started this YouTube channel <laughs> a couple months ago um, I've been struggling a lot I've been sick pretty much non-stop <laughs> since I started and I just have not been in the greatest headspace mentally or emotionally. I don't know if anybody else out there can relate to this, but for me, <laughs> a large portion of my life, I really thought that I didn't care what people thought about me. I was like this tough, confident chick that was like, I don't care what people think about me. I'm confident, I'm solid in who I am. And <laughs> I now see that that was very much so a defense mechanism and a way of protecting myself. I think that we are all brought into this world as very sensitive, caring beings. And at some point in our lives, something happens to us, something or someone hurts us and we learn to become hardened. We learn to put up these walls or to put on this armor to be able to navigate through life without being hurt. And that's definitely what happened to me. Um, I was a very overweight kid. I was really shy, very introverted. And I really felt that people didn't like that version of Danae, like people didn't like me. Fast forward, you know, a number of years later when I was, I feel like 16 was the year that it switched. 16 years old where I became Miss Vernon, uh, which is like your quote unquote beauty pageant. Shortly after that, I got into doing a lot of performing, theater, I got into working uh, in my career in radio, in television, and through these experiences, a lot of them I feel like fostered a very um, phony, inauthentic way of being. Like, if you watch the news, I feel like a lot of news anchors or people on TV are very like, we've got our palms like this, and today in the news, this happened. It's the, the fake voice and the inauthenticity, and I feel like a lot of the things that I was involved in at that time of my life really fostered that phoniness. And at the same time, I felt like this was the first time, I, first time in my life where people were really validating who I was and what I was doing. So the message that I got from that was, okay, this is the Danae people like. They don't like the quiet, shy, introverted, boring Danae. They want this like entertaining, like very animated Danae. And from that point on, I spent <laughs> my entire life thus far, putting a lot of energy into trying to be that person. And I will say I, a lot of the time am that person. Like when I do my cooking videos and there is a big part of me right from a kid where I really did love performing and dancing and singing, that is a very big part of me, but there's also a very big part of me that is very introverted and quiet and uh, you know, sometimes I get depressed. So that has been a really big struggle my entire life and even a really big struggle with starting this YouTube channel because I have really felt like I'm doing this health YouTube channel. I feel very passionately about wanting to help people with, with their health. So I should be the embodiment of somebody who is healthy and vibrant and I should just radiate that. But the truth is, is that like, I don't feel that way all the time. And especially since I've started this channel, you know, being sick for the last couple of months, I've just been feeling very, the opposite of healthy and vibrant. And it's felt like a lot of pressure, self-imposed pressure and self-judgment of like feeling like I need to be this way but the reality of how I'm feeling and who I am is this way. 
And I really wanted to come on and share this other side of myself with you guys because I feel like today so many of us, myself included, are, you know, as they say, just showing the highlight reel and um, I think there is a lot of pressure for a lot of us to feel like we need to be perfect. And I'm just so freaking sick of that for myself and I feel like I'm sick of that for the world as a whole. I really want us all to be able to, my hope is to be more honest with ourselves and one another and more vulnerable so that we can live more enjoyable lives that don't feel so heavy. Cause that's personally how I've been feeling since I started this channel is just like really heavy. Another thing that I've been doing quite a bit of in the last couple of months, being sick and not feeling great is just eating. Um, for me, food has always been the way that I comfort myself. It has always been my vice. You know, it's one thing to like, just like mindfully choose the treats that you're gonna have and have them enjoy them. That's great. I think that's fantastic for us to do. But when for me, it's not okay is when I feel myself wanting to eat every night, wanting to eat chocolate every night because I feel bored or sad or depressed and I want to eat to make myself feel better. So I have been doing a decent amount of that lately. And then there comes the more pressure of like, I'm doing this health channel and I'm not working out and I'm eating all this food and I'm gonna gain weight and people are gonna see it. And it's just, ah. Uh, if you want your issues to come to the surface, start a YouTube channel. So as I've been filling my face this last couple of months, emotionally eating, I've been reading this book called Women, Food and God, which if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. It is an incredible book. And in it, she talks about women and how we are such potent, powerful beings that are connected to source energy. You know, that which is bigger than all of us, something bigger in this universe. And how nobody in our lives, nobody ever really teaches us like what that is or what that relationship looks like how to connect with that and how to live a rich, fulfilled life. So, so often I think it's safe to say the majority of us are walking around with a feeling of boredom or loneliness or emptiness. It manifests in, in those ways. We feel incomplete. And a lot of the time, myself included, my entire life, I have turned to food to make myself feel better. And what I love about this book is that she describes that process and that pattern of doing that as essentially flattening your life. You know, she says in the book, weight or excess weight or excess fat on your body is what happens when you are using food to flatten your life. You are either choosing to be alive and to experience this life by connecting to that source energy, that who you really, really are, or you're choosing to use food or any other vice to numb yourself and essentially, as she puts it, like to kill yourself early. You're numbing yourself through this life experience. So I just feel like nobody is really teaching us this or as children, nobody teaches us this, like how to tap in and connect with that source energy to figure out what we are here on this planet to do. I think that's really what all this is, is like all of us are brought onto this planet for a reason. Each and every one of us has something unique that we are here to actualize and bring to the world. We've got one shot to live. How do we live the happiest, most vibrant lives possible? And yeah, a lot of that is through nutrition, which is what all my cooking videos are about, but there's so much more to that. And I really wanna talk more about that, but that has meant me getting really honest with myself, connecting more to the truth of who I am and then putting that out to the world, which has felt really, really scary. But the truth is, is like for me, this is my truth and this is what I feel passionate about wanting to bring to the world. I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> but I could because I do feel very, very passionately about this. So to kind of wrap this video up, my journey of connecting more with my spirituality, myself, what I personally am meant to do on this planet is happening right now. It's happening in front of all of you guys as I sh choose to share it here on YouTube. Um, but that, yeah, has felt terrifying. I really do believe that we are all here for a reason. And this life is about finding out what that is. If you're like, 
I have no freaking clue why I'm here. Getting into yoga and meditation, its it sounds so cliche, but it really has shifted a lot for me. And I feel like has really helped me become much more self-aware and much more connected to myself, my thoughts, my body. And within that experience, I feel just like I'm much more connected to the earth. Like when I'm in these yoga classes, I'm experiencing emotional and physical things in my body that are like, they just, they feel kind of crazy. They feel beyond me. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I just sound like a crazy person at this point, but I feel like there's some potent, powerful stuff within those practices. And there's a reason why so many people are into those practices. So I highly recommend getting into a really good yoga and meditation practice, a breathing practice, getting connected with yourself, journaling, whatever you feel called to do, but just connecting more with yourself and starting to pay attention more to the things that like light you up, the things that excite you and make you happy to be alive. Like those are the things that are gonna fulfill our lives, not food. And if you have no idea what lights you up and makes you happy, you know, get out there and, and start experiencing more, reading more books, going to different classes, doing things until you find the thing in life that lights you up and makes you feel jacked. So anyways, <laughs> that's what's been going on with me personally. Um, obviously, you guys may have noticed, I had a little change of hair color. I feel like I could do a whole nother video on why I decided to color my hair. This is my natural hair color. In a nutshell, to just summarize why I decided to do it from a very young age. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but you know, I grew up with blonde Barbie dolls and I spent a large, large portion of my life trying to be the stereotypical blonde Barbie doll. And I'm kind of done with it. To be honest, I feel very aggravated over how much our society focuses on what we look like. I really feel like we are spiritual beings. We are so much more than that. And yeah, I'm just kind of done putting so much time and energy and resources into bleaching my hair every, couple of weeks to try and fit into that mold. I'm just done with it. I just wanna be Danae. I'm getting back to my roots more and more, you guys. Also, for those of you who don't know, I'm uh, currently going to school for holistic nutrition. And a couple weeks ago, we were talking about the fact that women who dye their hair five or more times a year double their risk of ovarian cancer. So I'm just really trying to limit all of the chemical crap in my home that I'm putting into my body, that I'm putting on my body. So anyways, I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys liked today's video. I really wanna do more of this. Uh, just talking freely feels uncomfortable just doing these sit down chats like this because I feel like people won't care what I have to say. Um, and that's fine if you don't or they don't. Um, but I really hope that a few of you out there, like I said at the very beginning of this, um, resonated with this or that it connected with you in some way. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't set it up just to knock it down. Don't set yourself on fire.